Next, we have a speaker from uh, Dr. Boris Malugin. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, Dr. Turin, uh, can I have? Turin will be speaking on behalf of Dr. Malugin. Dr. Malugin is not here. Lot of people developed diabetes. Is, the, is that your question? No, I'm asking about diabetic No, not due to COVID. No, COVID because of the treatment, whatever was used. I think patient develops uh, diabetes more, which has been published, but uh, nothing to do with retinopathy. Go ahead, please. Okay. Yes. Uh, dear Presidium, dear colleagues, let me present the report on the topic epidemiology of eye disease in Russia based on the UEMS study. To provide eye care more efficiently, more data from large population-based studies are needed. That's why in Ufa Russia uh, Eye Institute, we conducted a cross-sectional populational-based study of people over 40 years to analyze the influence of various factors on the de development of ophthalmic pathologies among the population of the southern Urals. The southern Urals is a large region in central Russia with typical demographic, natural, and national characteristics. About 6,000 people took part in, the, in this investigation. During the Ural Iron Medical Study, we assessed uh, 683 different criteria, questionnaire and general somatic parameters, ophthalmological and laboratory parameters. During this study, the frequency of visual impairment was identified in accordance with the World Health Organization criteria. The degree of visual impairment was determined in the better eye. Uh, you can see this criterion on the slide. The rate of visual uh, impairment in, ge in general was 6.4%. The rate of mild, severe visual impairment and blindness were 3.1, 3.1, and 0.19% respectively. Our analysis showed that the most significant causes of blindness and low vision are cataract, age-related macular degeneration, myopic degenerative maculopathy, diabetic retinopathy, and glaucoma. Our results are generally uh, consistent with data from other epidemiologic studies. Uh, this slide uh, clearly shows the uh, difference in the frequency of uh, these mesologies. There is a multiple predominance of cataracts among these factors. This slide shows the results of a multivariate regression analysis taking into account all factors uh, in the population-based study uh, database. Uh, <clears throat> Increase uh, in the waist hip ratio, tobacco smoking, cortical cataract, a longer axial length, high glucose level, and aging are the factors that significantly increase the risk of blindness and low vision. Uh, however, such factors as high level of education, high income, le <clears throat> income level, and sunglasses wearing significantly reduce the risk of development of this condition. A typical social uh, demographic portrait of a patient with blindness and low vision was formed. This condition is more typical for older age, widowed people and people living alone, having low education, performing a trade job or with low monthly income, smokers, people suffering from obesity or conditions associated with impaired glucose tolerance. Cataract was diagnosed in 42.8% of respondents. Our study showed a significant predominance of pathology in women and in urban residents. The risk factors for development of cataracts are older age, female gender, living in the city, presence of diabetes mellitus, increased systolic blood pressure, shorter axial length. The, 
prevalence of age-related macular degeneration is almost 14%. Uh, the incident of early stage was 10 and 1 percent, intermediate stage 3 percent, late stage 0.7 percent. The proportion of each stage is presented in a pie chart. Our study showed a slight predominance of pathology in men rather than in women. These data are a big discordant with the global trend or in the prevalence of EMD in women. An interesting point is the significant predominance of pathology in rural residents. Our study showed a slight predominance. Our study showed a highest risk of any AMD stage in associated with the following factors: older age arterial hypertension, history of cancer and age-associated falls, history of glucocorticosteroid therapy, rural residence, shorter axial length, increased blood necrophil level. An inverse association between AMD and diabetic retinopathy uh, was revealed. Indeed, a number of researchers have noted the presence of diabetic or myopic retinopathy as factors counteracting the development of AMD. The prevalence of myopic maculopathy is 5.7%. The incidence of different stages is shown in this table. The proportion of each stage is presented in a pie chart. The generative maculopathy includes stage 2, 3, and 4, and accounts for 2.1% in the population. You can see the significant prevalence of myopic maculopathy in women and in urban residents. The risk of developing my, of myopic degenerative retinopathy is high in people with lower axial length, taking glucocorticosteroids, suffering pro, from cardiovascular disease, including stroke, female gender, urban residents, older age, and a, a lighter iris color. We have to admit that the most of these factors relate to non-modifiable markers that cannot be influenced. The prevalence of glaucoma is 0.3%. The incidence of these stages is shown in this table. We assess stage according to the classification of optic disc change in glaucoma. The proportion of each stage is presented in a pie chart. But the most interesting point is the significant, more than two-fold, predominance of pathology in urban residents compared to rural residents in all stages of the disease. These data correspond to the global trend of, of the prevalence of glaucoma among urban residents. Our analysis showed the association of increasing number of glaucoma cases with the following factors, glucocorticosteroid therapy, older age, longer axial length, urban residence, increased systolic blood pressure, and high level of blood glucose. The presence of diabetic retinopathy was diagnosed in almost 2% of respondents. You can see the significant prevalence of this pathology in women and in rural residents. Among respondents with diabetes, the incidence of diabetic retinopathy was 17%. In the superpopulation with diabetic retinopathy, non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy was observed in 96% of individuals. The proliferative form was diagnosed in 4% and diabetic macular edema in 12%. The analysis showed an association with older age, high serum glucose concentration, history of insulin therapy, high systolic blood pressure, longer history of diabetes. Overall, this study showed that age, changes in the length of the eyeball, diabetes, or increased blood glucose level were the most frequent factors associated with these ocular pathologies and perhaps the causes of their development. The benefits of the UMS study are early detection of these socially significant eye diseases and strengthening the prevalence component of health care by reducing the risk factors for the development of these socially significant eye pathology. In addition, scientists from UFI Research Institute, in collaboration with universities and research institutes in Europe, Asia, and America, have published more than 100 scientific papers and leading international journals. 
We will be very glad to see you at the East-West Conference in Ufa, Russia, in summer. Thank you. Th thank you. Can I invite uh, Boris to come and sit here? Boris, you can come and sit with us. Anybody has any comments or questions? Ravi or uh, Praveen? Come, Boris, join us. You can, you can use the microphone. Thank you. For, uh, Actually, this is the first time I am listening to any presentation from Russia. Happy to know that the prevalence of blindness and visual impairment is very low in Russia. Something odd which you find in, in, in India, usually the problems are higher in rural population. But in Russia, it is much more in urban population. This is one different I could see. Sir. Thank you.